Hello everyone and welcome back to Craftopia. I'm your host, 2005 Guy Row 2. Okay, so today we're going to start up a new season because let's face it, I wasn't able to save the save file. Uh, and there's been a massive update which has changed quite a lot of the game. Uh, so we're going to start up from scratch because I was not able to save the, uh, the save file from um, reformatting and reloading my entire computer. Uh, I've also added quite a few new games to what we've got and also Black, Pro Black Friday is upon us or very close to it but at least the uh, discounts are already up. Um, I've already gifted various games to probably about eight people currently on my um, friends list. Uh, I do intend to give everyone at least a little something. However, I am still unemployed and I've probably got only about £150 currently to my name and there are still quite a, he quite a few hefty bills that need to come out of that. Uh, so I can't guarantee many people, many big games or even small games currently into my next um, either job, um, well, what's it called, um, employment check comes through the post. But uh, I've given a couple of people the entire uh, se selection of um, space engineers. Unfortunately, the whole thing combined comes to a total of £30, and that's with all the discounts currently. Uh, there's just been a, another update for that one, and I'd like to do a video for that. Um, actually, there's been about five different updates today straight away, so it's uh, been one of those days again. Uh, where everyone does the updates on the same day and I'm not sure if it's because the Black Friday deals are up or not but it could be that so today we're going to uh, start a new game uh, I've already, probably already said that about three times already sorry about that um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through it like we have not played it before and the reason for this is because of the massive change in the game um, I've noticed that uh, there's been quite a few different things that have changed. Um, I did do a small look inside of it. Unfortunately, I don't want to have the character be that little bit ahead um, when we start up a fresh, a fresh game. So I'm afraid we're going to have to do a fresh character again. Um, but uh, that's all said, that way everyone can see what the game is like. Um, they can, uh, you guys can read through the change work if you want, or if you don't, we'll see each other into the game itself, which hopefully shouldn't be very long from now. But seeing how big the update was, it could take a couple additional minutes. Um, and basically, what we're going to do is we're going to play it like we've never played it. Very mind, we already know quite a, quite a bit about the game. Uh, but it's just primarily for those people that have not played it, would like to play it, but don't know what the game is like. Um, there are still a couple of areas that require some sound effects. I always keep the music switched off just to be on the safe side, because I'm not sure about the artist on the, uh, the music for this game. Um, I guess we could always check the frequently asked questions. Um, but I'm not sure if the artist name is in there and if it's royalty free music or not. So for the safeties, I always keep the music switched off until I know for certain that it's royalty free. And then sometimes I'll put the music on. Um, it just depends on the game itself. If I want to do a big, um, uh, what's it called, a big time lapse uh, where I'm gathering resources, doing a lot of crafting, and basically a lot of repetitive stuff. But I don't want to bore you guys too much with the constant repetitive nature of the uh, survival games. Um, what I'll do then is I'll do that as a time lapse and have hopefully some reasonable music in the, uh, in the background. Unfortunately, there are a couple characters out there that like to claim that the world free music belong to them, that they've got the copyright on it, when they don't. And uh, with those soundtracks, uh, you might see a little pop-up uh, coming down uh, the screen saying, 
this track is going to be playing uh, time lapse it's let's say at three times the more speed and also there will be just silence now if that happens it's because some twat has copyrighted the music claimed that they've got the uh, digital rights on it or that they hold the copyright on it when it copyright actually belongs to the artist that made the game sorry made the um the music which will be basically linked in the description that pops down uh so just in case if there are any um dead uh, dead sound areas when i'm doing a time lapse it's because of some uh twat uh, basically um copywriting it so that all said, I think we've gone uh, waffled on long enough. Let's get into the game and see how it goes. Okay, let's start up the single player. So we're going to have to create a new character. It always starts with a female, uh, but I am a male, so we're going to go with that. And a little less of the pinky skin. Um, let's go for types, because for some reason it always stays on a female. So let's go for male. We can't select the other two just yet. Uh, let's go back to face. Because we've already set the body for male and the skin. Uh, it would be nice if it actually switched a uh, type up there to male or female, depending on which one you select here, but it doesn't do that. Uh, let's go to face. So the first couple, the first four are for uh, young ladies, uh, women. Uh, I'm a male, so let's go with a male. Let's see what we've got to offer. Um, well, what we what we've got to start with. Uh, no, I'm not that old yet. Uh, and I'm not that young either, but uh, I guess we could go for that one. Um, eye colour, I've got about five or six different colours of my eye. Or eyes, uh, I've got yeah, I've got tinge of yellow, I've got some grey, I've got some dark blue, I've got some light blue, I've got some green, and a couple of spots of red, which is really weird. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, a bit strange. I, I don't know if I'll be able to find the pictures of when my eyes were heavily infected, but I could always import that into the game because I had a, a nice, um, good, clear picture on what my eye colours actually are. Uh, albeit the red all the way around my eyes, um, um, well, which were supposed to be white, but turned into red because of a horrible, horrible infection um, from when I was working in a refrigerated warehouse. Yeah, when it comes to red ore, they, um, they kept missing off the 1D for disease, i.e. Disease, disease control. They completely ignored it. So after having dual eye infection, middle eardrum infection, throat infection, uh, stomach infection. Did I say dual, dual eye infection? Uh, I was sick for a whole month and uh, after that they sacked me. So that was not a personal experience and being jobless and seeing what people want to throw my way job-wise, I'm not going to go back into warehousing, period that and the arthritis doesn't uh, help me much either okay so um and when it comes to arthritis it's osteoarthritis in the knees uh so we can't do those yet so let's go create character's name create And press the red button. Now test complete on.
Okay, so we've um, basically blown up the uh, the plan out, and we're starting in a big open area, lots of water. We can swim in the water. We can't dive down. So if we want to go down all the way to the bottom of the world and probably fall off, we can't. But that also means that uh, in the game, in the, in the world, if something sinks so far down and you want to pick it up, you can't. So let's go over here. It would be nice if they actually had a, a voice instead of text, but who knows, that might be coming later, um, or a little bit later down the road. Not sure how long, but it is early access, so it could take a little while. But unfortunately, it's going to take a little while for all the sticks to go by. So uh, wake me up when it's, when it's finished. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, when it comes to me uh, reading text out loud, um, it um, it never goes well. For some reason, I don't know if it's a bit dyslexia or something like that, um, but uh, I wind up putting words where there are no words and change words and stuff like that, and it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> so I tend to let people read it for themselves, and then we can just... Uh, Continue on. Okay, looks like she's disappeared and we can go in. Now we're going to have to create our world, so let's quickly do that. Now, I I think the, um, the islands are um, basically the same no matter what you do, but the uh, the map configuration of where the islands are, I think that's always random. Okay, so let's start that. And select that one and not that one. And we can go in. Okay, so we're in, and then we've got all these people over here, which are uh, the Turrells. Um, so you can go through them if you want, but we're just going to skip that for the moment. And we're going to go straight into it. We're going to open up this chest, see what's in it, and that's some food. So let's put that food over there. We don't need it just yet, but we will need later on. And if you look at the top right, it's basically got a little list of uh, things it wants us to do. Uh, and we're going to do that eventually. But what we're going to do is we're going to pick up some stuff. Um, some items do respawn and some items don't. The items that don't are the rocks, the trees, and these barrels and bits, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, it, it sort of forces you to go to the next level by doing so. Okay, and we've leveled, leveled up, so if we hit Y, we can go to the Skills tab and uh, give our character some additional skills, abilities, and maybe even, well, a little bit of extra health and stuff sometimes. I think sometimes the placement of uh, some things can also be completely at random. Uh, for example, I don't remember ever having that around or in the actual spawn area for the uh, clans. Oh, whoopee, a stick. Okay, so let's drop those out of our uh, hotbar because we don't want them there. 
Uh, let's put the stick on number three because we need that to hit things with. And that basically goes a little bit quicker. Okay. Let's quickly pick up these bits over here as well. So everything that you do in the game, if you're pick up, picking up things, if you're attacking things, if you're crafting, if you're putting things down, uh, like walls, floors and stuff like that, you always level up your character a little bit. And uh, when I say a little bit, it, sometimes it, it is quite literally a little bit. But it depends also on the level of the island. So the higher the level, and so long as you don't die, uh, the quicker you level up the character and what the character can do. Now the best strike is to jump and hit. So we're going to do that. Oops. But animals do run away. Sometimes you can catch up with them. Sometimes they can actually run you over. This blue guy, even though he looks uh, quite nice, he's actually quite the hostile bugger. Now there are also little square objects, which we'll uh, find out later, uh, which are sort of like pokeballs where we can um, capture the creatures. Now. When it comes to having the creatures attack other creatures, eh, I wouldn't really bank, uh, count on that. What you can do is you can capture a creature, release him from the ball, and then um, you can pick him up using one of the magic tactics, and then throw him at something else, at a, a creature. But it doesn't actually attack it, so... Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not going to go down that route straight away at least. Not until we've uh, got an our le our character level way, way higher. Because of uh, what happened last time with the um, um, messenger from the underworld. Ooh, we've got baseball bat. Nice. Much better weapon. Let's get all this stuff out of our inventory. Okay, baseball bat. It is a two-handed weapon, so we can't use it. What a shame. Okay, and we can also capture all the fish by making a fishing rod. I don't know if we can do that straight away. We can make wind stick. We can make um, stone axe. Um, Sorry, we can... Yes, sorry, stone axe and a wooden axe. Um, we've also got the option for a two-handed torch. Um, we've got some arrows. We can make a stone workbench. The altar is so that we can level up the... Uh, let's say the craftability of the character. Okay, so let's hit up with our fists. Something that's made out of wood. Oops. Go to hit zero first, so that uh, actually let's just do it with a stone first. So five is required in order to make a pickaxe. Um, but let's just do it until we've got this whole rock. Now you don't have to keep clicking like I was just doing a minute ago, uh, completely destroying the mouse by doing so. Well. If it was a Cyberat mouse, I'd be destroying the mouse with every click. But luckily enough, I don't buy those Cyberat mice anymore. Uh, because after about 3,000 clicks, the mouse just stops working. But if it's a regular mouse, like this one, a cheapy £10 mouse, uh, with uh, five buttons, two on the side, uh, basically you can click it. 30,000 times and it still keeps going, so it's a lot better. I think that should be enough. Let's make the axes. So we want a pickaxe. 
And we want an axe. Now, one drawback that I always had with this game, sort of still have with this game, is that the game is third person view only. Now, I don't mind third person view if it's um, doing uh, stuff like the, uh, the pickaxing of rocks, um, axing up um, trees and stuff like that, uh, or even um, uh, loaded vehicles and stuff. But when it comes to fighting, I personally prefer first person view. Although on this game, I would say I'd probably make an uh, exception because there are a couple uh, ways of fighting the character, uh, fighting the enemies, which, um, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to be first person view um, unless you want to get really, really sick. And uh, what we're currently doing is just leveling up the character a bit more. By uh, doing everything, but I guess what we could do is go into skills and basically do this one first, and it basically increases the efficiency of the axe and the pickaxe. They're probably the first two that I actually tend to do. Um, then we want what does this one do again? Evade. You can do that one. Well, if you if you want all the others, then yes, you want that one. Um, so if you do med meditation, you can basically uh, heal uh, by not doing anything. So uh, if you sit or if you crouch, your stamina goes up a lot quicker. Um, but we're going to get a little bit more in the way of resources. Because uh, once we've got uh, some going, then um, I can go that little bit further uh, ahead. So what I'll do is I'll put a very small time lapse in here uh, where we just uh, gather resources and uh, once we're ready to start building uh, we shall continue again. Uh, I'll just let the uh, character just keep, uh, keep saving his uh, um, level up skills and uh, we can do that once we're ready to uh, play the game properly. Okay, so before we go too far in, and sorry for the darkness, uh, the reason why I turned it off for the darkness um, was so that we don't have to muck about with the video editing software to make it lighter again. But as you can see, um, there is a small bug at the moment. Um, the stone pickaxe is currently class as broken and unusable, but because we've still got it as an active... Um, weapon or tool, we can still use it. So that's the first bug. And the same as with the word, um, uh, with the word axe. Uh, if we use the word axe and it's broken, uh, it can still be used. So at the moment there is a, uh, a little um, bug that can sort of be exploited at the moment. So uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, wait until it's daylight again and uh, we, sh we shall see each other again and we can continue uh, with the actual game and do a little bit of building. Yeah. 
Okay, we find ourselves in a bit of a pickle. The bear has decided to come down over here. So let's take that. At least try to. Well, the stick is not so easy. Ouch. Phew. No pelt. That's a bit of a shame. Now, what do these give, guys give us now? I think it's something slightly different than before. Nope. Come on. It's still an egg. Chicken feather. Ah, that's a bug. Give me those resources. <laughs> this stupid thing. Dying underneath the uh, map. That's not good. Or underneath the island. Okay, so as you can see, I had uh, a bit of a field goal. Uh, field day. Uh, depleting all the, uh, the trees that were here. Um, just going to quickly grab all the copper that we can get our hands on. And then we... Uh, we can continue again. So let's quickly do that. Oh, and before I forget, let's do the uh, the whole grab wall bit. Oops. Okay, apparently that's done it. And uh, I shall see you guys once we're uh, ready to start building our little base or starting base um, somewhere on the water. And then, um, after which we can level up uh, what our character can do, and also start doing some of the dungeons as well, because there are two dungeons on this island, and I'm wondering which ones they are. Stem pick. Oh no, iron pick. Nice. There's a chest over there. Let's quickly grab it. That's weird. Maybe because it wasn't the first pick. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, so it's an iron stone pick. Weird. Ooh, a copper axe. Okay, so... Hmm. Guess we'll have to see if it can do iron or only stone. And copper. Wonder what 
Salt water. Okay. Let's try a piece of iron. See if we can do it with this pick. But if it's a stone pick, it won't do it. No, so it's not a stone, sorry, not an iron pick, it's still a stone pick. Okay. Any more copper? Another bear over there. Another chest. And more copper over here, nice. And another chest down there. And another stone pick, okay. Uh oh. Oops. Oh, two bears, not good. They need to come in here then. Bear. Oh, there's a couple of things that we're going to need. Some foxes, huh? That does it. Come on then, last bag it. Why are we taking damage when we fall into the water? That's weird. Well, I guess we're going to have to eat it. Let's try not to. Okay, so let's quickly get the last of the copper that we can find. Try and avoid the bears a bit. And then we can start building our base. Or, well, let's say base of operations. And... Uh, See what else we can do afterwards. So I think there's all the copper around here. So let's put a little platform out on the water so we're a little bit safe from the uh, bears and all the other creatures. And then we can start building all the bits that it wants us to make. 
Okay, so I've already made a little bit of a platform already, but what we can do is do an additional 10. So let's do 10 more of those. Should give us a total of 90, yep. Okay, um, so we've also got a copper axe that will come in a little bit handier later. Copper bow that will do as well. And we've got lots of these sticks which uh, are pretty useless. Okay, that copper one, even though um, we're not really going to bother using shields, that's going to come in handy later. It saves us having to make one. Okay, so let's put down a little bit of a platform. Let's start in the water a bit. Now, there's a reason why I'm making it this big. Hmm, got some floating poo over there. Okay. Not that we need those just yet, but it might come in handy later. Okay, that should be more than enough for the moment. So as you can see, we've got a fair few resources there, which will definitely come in handy. I'm not sure about this. Can be obtained from bucket of water or magic. Water obtained from well would be bucket water, which would need, need to be processed, okay. Um, okay, so there's two different uh, versions that we've got there. Okay. So first up, let's craft a couple of those. Basically, doing two by two is uh, a little bit uh, easier or later. So let's uh, put them both down here for the moment. It basically speeds up um, our manufacturing capabilities. Uh, so it wants us to do a glider. Let's do that. Uh, let's also get two of these going. Okay, so let's put that one oop, in there. Now, for some reason, it's leaving it in our inventory now. That's a problem. I hope it doesn't do that with the armor, but I suspect it will. Okay, so we've got the option to make a primitive bow and arrows and bits and pieces. We're just going to bypass a lot of that. Let's make one of those because then we can, um, let's say, uh, have our character make more items in the future by spending a few smaller items. Uh, eventually it gets more and more expensive though. Let's put it there. And it does the full alchemist bit. Okay, uh, let's put the shops in. 
because that way we can sell unwanted items and also uh, get some coin in. Speaking of which, we don't really need seeds at the moment. Um, the sword water, the eggs, the feces. Um, we don't need the sticks, uh, the pickaxes anymore. Um, let's put that one down there. And I think that should be enough for, for the moment. It's going to sell everything within a couple of seconds. There we go. Now we've got some money. Uh, we don't need these yet. That one. We don't need that much of that one. Okay, that should do for the moment. Okay, so let's see what do we need to go to the next level. We've got it all. Good, let's do that. Okay, so now we should be able to make a lot more uh, items. So we've got a copper pickaxe, a iron pickaxe and a silver pickaxe. Uh, we've also got the ability to make a fishing rod um, and a uh, way to uh, harvest that fish. Let's make uh, two of those and one of, oops, past it, one of those. That way we can smelt some ore and get some weapons. Uh, what we also want to do is make some walls, so let's quickly do that too. So let's say we make about 30 walls for the moment. We don't want to use up all the wood that we've got. Um, we're also going to need one of these things, but we need a couple for that. Uh, let's get eight of these going. Um, we're going to have to make buckets. Can we do that in our inventory or do we have to do it through? Oh, no, we can do it that way. Granted, we can only do one at a time that way, but never mind. Oh, no, never mind. We've got ten. So that's nice. So let's uh, fill those ten buckets up. And that's basically using right click. There we go. So we've now got two buckets of water. They'll come in very handy very shortly. Speaking of which. Um, might have to get a couple more floors in, especially when we get ready to automate things. Granted, we can't do any automation just yet, because we're not at that level yet. But we can get the spacing right for it, and that's what this is going to be for. Okay, let's get these ones in next. Oops, I, have I just goofed? I have. Need to do one more, uh, one more behind it. Okay, now we're going to need a lot more walls than what we've currently got already made, but we can already start boxing some of this in, so let's do that. And yeah, we have goofed quite a bit. Uh, that's right. Oh, 
uh, one short. Oh, it's actually a little bit more than one short, but there we go. That should keep us going for a little bit. Um, let's make uh, a doorway and a couple other bits as well. As well. Now we're not going to focus too much on the building side just yet because there's just so much stuff that we need to do. Let's make an additional, oop, additional 15. And let's get one of these going as well. Okay, that way we can as I do that and so that things don't fall off of the platform because uh, I have had that in the past. The reason why this falls around here is for when we do the automation. There you go. Uh, so we have buckets of water. Let's use two buckets of water for eight platforms. And we do that by uh, aiming towards the center of all four. Hit right click and we do four at the same time. It's a little bit cheaper that way. Strange roof. I actually got a, an empty bucket back out of that. Interesting. Okay, let's get the buckets out of there, because we don't need that. Okay, so let's get the smelters in. Granted, usually I have about eight or nine of these. Uh, just make things go a lot quicker. But we can start processing the uh, copper that we've got. Looks like it stacks to 100 now. That's nice. Used to only stack to 99. Okay, now we can have this area for cooking. And I was about to say, why can't we put that there? Okay, um, let's put that one in over here. There we go. So now we should be able to make swords, armor, and various other bits. Let's get some copper because we need that for other things, along with a copper pick, a uh, pick we make through here. So let's make one copper pick, that way we can get some iron going. Um, then we also need, what do we need in order to get to the next level? Oh, this is not good. We've got another bug. Uh, we need some flour and we need this thing over here. Right. Uh, okay, so that thing just needed copper and stone, so we can do that straight away. Now we've got the option of using it, but if we put it in our little spot over here, it makes, uh, well, it used to make such an awful sound when we got close to uh, a dungeon or um, a chest. Not sure if it still makes that awful sound, we can double check it. So let's have a little look. Let's quickly grab these. More of those we can get, uh, more food that we'll have later. Yep, it still makes the same good awful sound. You see, there are still a couple of chests about and a couple of dungeons, and that's basically what that uh, sound indicates. So let's turn that off so we don't get uh, driven stir crazy. It could be jumping back because it's halfway through a wall. 
as well, of course. Okay, so we've got eight points remaining, so let's use those eight points this time. So let's do um, meditation, rabbit jump. Um, is there anything here that we really want? So that's more healing. Let's, uh, let's just go with that for the moment. Let's do something about our attack options. So I found that one quite handy, so let's do that one. We need to do one more in order to open up this law. So let's go with that one. Um, the one I want to try is dual wield. Let's do that. Uh, our tree, we'll need that later on as well. Uh, jump short. Let's go with that for the moment, see what else we can do over here. Sense of a miner, get additional rock. Bumjack, get. Obtain additional wood, we could do that one. Low stamina consumption when swimming, you know. Okay. Maybe that one later, and that one. And that one as well. Uh, that with these ones we get coins which can be used in a little um what looks like a gumball machine and then we can get random things out of that or we could just sell the coins um trick is if you um well if you want to do various magic options and uh things with the uh, animal balls I think they're called prisons, uh, but let's go, let's focus on attack and other abilities. So, did we already do double jump? No, we didn't. Uh, let's do double jump, that we can, we can jump further. Uh, what's a gift? So we need to spend one more in order to, uh, that's weird, do we really have four out of five currently active? Oh, only the one, so that, that's a bit weird. Unless it doesn't matter how many you do now, and it's quite literally only four items. Mm, that might be a bit of a plus in that case. You don't have to do several items continuously in order to go to the next level up of uh, the points. Nice. And that's only if that's the case. I'm not 100% sure if that is, but... Um, short cup of silver. Hmm. 
I think we'll have to go with combat. Let's go with that one. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to do a couple of things. Oh, looks like we're going to have to look on uh, what we're going to do about food. Um, let's pick that one up for a moment. Same with that one. Uh, let's make a... Oh, what's this? Washing machine. Sure, why not? And we need to do something about food. So, where is the. There it is. Let's do two of those. Why is for this guy using the glider? Okay, how about that? Nope. Oops, I keep hitting it one too many times. Okay. Okay, so we need to make some food because we can't level up fast enough in order to do it. Or get our um, food complete full. So let's put these down for a moment. Uh, let's do those. Oh, we can also do the eat raw bit. I don't think that's very good, but let's do it anyway. And let's take a done number on the health, but it's pulled our food um, requirements up a little bit. Let's quickly grab these and these. Okay. So what else do we want to make? Um, we need the iron no, uh, ingots for that. We can make one of those now. So let's do that. Uh, what else? That one is new. But let's do two of those first, so we've got some storage. Let's put the shops back down. That way we've got a little bit more room later on. There we go, we've got a bit more room down there for other things. Let's try this washing machine. As to remove enchantments off of things, okay. Let's put some storage down. Rotate using R. Uh oh. Okay, looks like that thing's finally settled down. Okay, so we just need the um, wheat. There we go. Let's take that off of there. Let's quickly pick up that food so that we can have something to eat without uh, dying in the process.
It's also do those clowns. Okay, so next up, oh yeah, we need to make some coal. I completely forgot about the coal. Uh, was there anything that we wanted to sell? Uh, not really at the moment. Okay, uh, let's put some more flooring in so that we can do a couple additional things like uh, get that big door in. Okay, looking at the time, we're going to have to call the episode soon, so let's have a little look at a couple of the other new items. So the other new item is that one, but we have to have a machete and iron ingots for it. Um, we can make a hoverboard, we already know what it's like. Um, Mono fluid. Hmm. Every time we hit the mono up, we only get eggs, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, and there was this one over here intermediate products made from straw. Okay, let's make a hundred of that and see what uh, we can do with it. And let's see, what can we do in here? Okay, so that needs the rags and leather, and then we can make some clothing, but we can't make the armor anymore. That's a bit of a shame. What do we need for that? Iron, talon, and a horn. So we can make those, but we need to do the iron first. Okay, well, we can quickly hit up some iron, quickly grab that. And then make some iron ingots. Unfortunately, it looks like we've come up for the time limit. So if you've liked what you've seen so far, please leave a like. If you didn't, please let me know why. Also, if you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Hmm. We've got a skeleton over here, but we don't have a weapon to take it out with. Now where was that iron?